Hello, everyone. It is time for Keto Bob Bomb Keto Talk while playing. What are we playing today? Diablo 3, if you're interested. I'm playing the Necromancer. I got a, I know, Pestilence Master Shroud set thing with uh, this Boon of the Hoarder and uh, Wreath of Lightning for some cinematic entertainment. And uh, I'll throw the build down in the description. If you're interested in that? We're doing some off season play here with the Necromancer so I can learn what I'm doing so when season 14 comes around, I can get busy with it. And we're going to talk some keto while we doing it. All right. Today, I'm going to talk about my pre keto days. Okay, my pre keto days. Not so much the weight and what I was eating and blah, blah, blah. Everyone was there. I want to talk about when I decided to make that change, who I was looking to for uh, some mentorship, uh, who was influencing my decisions in the health department that eventually led to keto. Okay, now, out of all these people that I'm going to mention, not one is keto. No, one of them comes close. We'll get to her. Uh, one I know has tried the keto, and he really wants to be a part of that keto world, but uh, he just uh, he works out, and the lack of carbs, working out on it did work out for him. That's cool. And he gave it a shot, all right? He gave it a shot. All right. My wish is to be incredibly Back wealthy, to the game and to the women. keto talk. Let's get started. All right. Comparison. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for those of you not into gaming, you're into the keto, listen to the talk and don't worry about all this nonsense going on on the screen here. All right. Yeah. One of the very first button here. How long ago was this? Let me think. 2000... On 2000... Oh, I date myself. 2014-ish to 2016-ish is when I started uh, diving into these people right here. Okay. First up, G. Edward Griffin. Yes, G. Edward Griffin. Many Nephilim have stood where you are now. I was listening to his talks. Wow. Really? That was fast. Okay, his talks led me to that is not possible. vitamin B17, uh, amygdalin. Yes, amygdalin. Speaking of which, for that. how come that's the one supplement no one's talking about? Anyway, they always ask, what's the one supplement? Hey, no one said anything. I want a high intensity health. Give me a show on amygdalin, please. Vitamin B17. Thank you. All right. So that G. Edward Griffin, amygdalin. There you go. Which also led to a cookbook. My health restored. Was published back in the day. It's got a lot of vitamin B17 rich recipes, which I will ketofy and will be sharing on the channel. So stay tuned for that. All right. From there, we're moving on to Dr. Mercola. This is where I entered the, uh, non-GMO. That's why I first figured out, I even heard the term GMO. 
there's a few people popped up and I listened to him. A Dr. Mercola, okay? Around the same time, David Wolf. He's the one who uh, dabbled in the keto world, but he was like, no, no, I'm good with the carbs. Anyway, so David Wolf, we got D. Edward Griffin. We got uh, Dr. Mercola, David Wolf, all very strong influencers in the uh, food and health department. Check them out. I'll be linking all these people below. Okay, number four. This is where I found someone. I even, what is it called? Health advocate, food advocate. I first heard that. Fanny Harry, the food babe. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Learned so much about reading labels through her. She's got a very strong blog and advocate. She's on podcasts. You can listen to her. Um, books, recipes. She just came out with a bone broth. See, she's not keto. She's got some keto-ish products out. Uh, give her look. I'll link to all that below. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be getting her bone broth. Checking it out. Um, okay, so that's four. Next up, number five. One of my favorite. Joe Cross. Joe Cross. Yeah, you know, reboot with Joe. I was doing juice fast. I'd always do a three. Three day, you know, sometimes a five day. I never really did a full month or a week, being seven days. Uh, Somewhere along the line, I'll talk about it later. I did a 30-day juice fast. Didn't know it was possible. Juice, 30 days. Woo! Lost some good weight there. Three keto days. Okay. Those are my five top influencers. Okay. Ah. No. Okay, ah. Uh, so what actually led to keto? See, I was, after the juice fast, I started uh, being more veg. More veg, still high in the carbs, didn't really know about that. Less meat, trying my best. I did lose some, but I didn't lose a, a ton doing that. Back over here. Okay, so I started out walking a lot. Just walking, I wasn't doing no, uh, no gymming. And the way I tracked it was with Google Fit. I think I, uh, I was using Lose It to track macros. It's a cool app. And it, you can use, it'll track your Google Fit for you. Anyway, on a board. Move on here. Some nice gold drops with this. Going to the border. Just gotta remember to spam, spam, spam this corpse lance. Rest of you, butt kicked. Okay. Okay, so after the Google Fit. 
uh, one day I started gymming. Okay, good. And uh, through social networking, I just chit chatted up on one of them. I remember who it was. Is it Scout? That is my nice. uh, Was a female bodybuilder. She mentioned something she did for shows. It was intermittent fasting. I was like, no way, intermittent fasting, it works. So the next thing I know, I'm doing intermittent fasting. And I lost a good 10, 13 pounds. No more than that. It's really hard. But I was like, I'll just keep doing it. Because I had goals to meet. On YouTube, that is not possible. Uh, Dr. Eric Berg. I didn't know anything about keto at the time, and this wasn't a keto video. It was an intermittent fasting video. He didn't mention keto, so I was. Uh, he gave a great video on uh, breaking down what intermittent fasting was, and the progression from a eight hour to a one hour. Not a one hour. From down from a eight hour to a four hour eating window. So I started off with the eight hour eating window. I worked my way down to a four hour eating window. I heard about the OMOD. I didn't, it was not in my interest to do OMOD at the time. And then I was like, man, I need to eat more. How can I do some cutting outside of the world of intermittent fasting? So I was looking for something. That is not possible. You will have five corps. And I found a YouTube channel, uh, Primal Edge Health, with Tristan and Jessica. They have cookbooks out, by the way, printed editions. Check it out. I'm going to. I'll share it with you. I won't. Maybe tease a recipe here and there, but you need to support your fellow ketoers out there. All right. Now, let's see. Yeah, so Tristan from Primal Edge Health in one of his videos, he mentioned intermittent fasting. Well, that's why I found him. He has some videos on intermittent fasting. And he mentioned in one of them that intermittent fasting was a gateway diet to the ketogenic lifestyle. That sunk in and it stuck with me. Next thing I know, I'm doing keto, 100%. Right? I mean, I've been the correct, most healthiest way I was doing it, but I lost a lot of weight real quick. And I did not do intermittent fasting while I was on keto at all. I just recently been doing that. It's on that last few pounds. Yeah, last few pounds. Yeah. It's been a long weight loss journey. Glad I can finally say last few pounds. Over 100. Gone. Oh, this guy's pretty bad. All right. So that's how I ended up with keto. It was the that, that was the progression of my keto life. All right. There you go. So uh, we'll end that talk here. I'm gonna link everything I'm talking about below in the description. Hit the like, comment, subscribe, share, drop some keto knowledge. All right. See you later. And uh, just want to say hi to everyone. Oh, bye at the same time.